back. You want stuff delivered to your front porch quickly, and a lot of it gets here by boat. One of the country's largest ports sits right down the road in Savannah. So this morning, Suzanne Lawler begins a two part series showing you how the port's expansion won't cost you a dime and just the massive scale of work that's going on every day. Once that ship gets into the port and then the ship to shore cranes, they go up there and they unload the containers onto trucks and then those trucks take those containers into yard stacks. They're stored until our customers are ready to pick them up. Sounds simple, right? It's anything but. Ships the length of four football fields come into the port. Something you may not have known, I didn't know it either. When you see these big ships and you see all of the containers on top, you think yes, that's what they're carrying. But they actually carry more containers down below. The wharf has to be pulled back from the river to allow for two berths to be constructed for the larger vessels to come in. Eight ship to shore cranes are already under purchase right now. For Ollie Himbert, the Port of Savannah's Director of Engineering, this is a dream job. Oh, just a massive scale of construction. Those new cranes and some work on the river will allow bigger ships to come in and more of them lining up at the dock. Right now, the port moves close to 3 million big boxes on and off these boats. Upgrades will make it close to 4 million boxes. It'll cost more than a billion bucks, but the port is its own entity, so it does not get tax dollars, but does have a lot of status in the container shipping world. Savannah is number three within the United States, but number 27 globally. Ed McCarthy is the chief operations manager. He keeps another part of the project in line. This is called the Mega Rail. It's the largest on-port rail yard in North America. 18 to 20 percent of boxes will roll down the tracks. Which ultimately results in, in trucks being taken off the roadways. Speaking of trucks, if an 18-wheeler is just picking up a container, they're in port for about a half hour. If they're loading and unloading, it runs about an hour before they're back on the road. This is the Garden City Terminal. The port has four more, and it's all larger than life. Trucks that will carry one box look like ants on the ground. 35 ships come in a week and dock for 12 to 18 hours. Everything is a precise pattern from start to finish, helping to make sure you get the packages you want. Suzanne Lawler, 13 WMAZ News. It's so amazing what they can do there and just how well choreographed all of that is. Yes, and so many of those containers come right through Macon. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, coming up and down I-16. So, I mean, absolutely amazing that all that work is going on just a couple hours away from yeah, us. And really cool to see. Now, every major shipping line calls Savannah a port of call. Besides the trucks, the port's expansion is also bringing a lot of jobs along I-16. So we're going to be talking to people in Lawrence County. That's right. We've included a lot of web extras on this story. You can see it in just all that eye candy watching those big old ships going by and you can find that on our website at 13wmaz.com.